Heart attacks and cardiac arrest are not the same thing. Sometimes we use the terms interchangeably, but we shouldn't because they are different. Now, sometimes heart attacks can cause cardiac arrest, and I'm going to talk about that, but they are not the same. And heart attacks don't always cause cardiac arrest. Just a brief overview is a heart attack is when blood flow to the heart is blocked. Sudden cardiac arrest, however, is when the heart malfunctions, stops bleeding. This is due to electricity, an electrical problem, whereas a heart attack is due to a circulation problem, blood flow getting to where it needs to go. Now, we're going to break this down even further. By the way, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you, okay? Going back to heart attacks, okay? Heart attacks are caused by a blockage that stops blood flow to the heart. Um, a heart attack really refers to the death of the heart muscle uh, due to loss of blood supply. Remember, blood brings oxygen to tissues. Without blood, we don't have oxygen and tissues can die, and that's what happens in heart attacks. Um, and, and this is due to a, a blocked artery that's not allowing blood flow to happen. If that blocked artery is not reopened quickly, that part of the heart that normally is nourished by the artery begins to die. And we know that the longer a person goes without treatment, obviously the greater risk of damage. And and this is the thing, we know risk factors for heart attacks, right? Um, and heart disease, cholesterol, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, uncontrolled um, uh, uh, conditions of those types and other things, family history, et cetera. Now, we also know that symptoms of a heart attack, right? You guys know this. They could be really severe, crushing chest pain, uh, arm pain, et cetera, et cetera, or it could be mild. Some people don't even have symptoms. And remember, uh, I've done videos on this, uh, symptoms between men and women can be different as well. Uh, the thing here is that during a heart attack, again, it's a circulation issue. It's a blood flow issue. The blood is not getting where it needs to go in the heart to nourish it, uh, doesn't bring that oxygen, so that part of the heart dies. Um, this is uh, not a problem of the heart heart beating. The heart is still beating in a heart attack. It doesn't stop. Um, but do remember that a heart attack in some situations could lead to cardiac arrest. It does actually increase the risk for cardiac arrest. So does that make sense? Heart attack is a circulation issue. Blood flow is not getting where it needs to go in the heart and keeping that heart nourished. Now let's go to cardiac arrest. This is an electricity issue. This is when the electri electrical system of the heart malfunctions. The heart stops beating properly. And this pumping function is stopped. It's arrested. Uh, it tends to occur suddenly, often without warning. It's an electricity issue that tends to cause an irregular heartbeat, such as we call them arrhythmias, right? They, uh, often uh, ventricular uh, fibrillation is a common arrhythmia, where the electricity causes the heart to kind of quiver and do crazy things and not beat properly. And thus, blood is not pumped throughout the body the way it should be. It doesn't get to the brain, the lungs, and other organs because it's quivering, not pumping properly. A person can then lose consciousness because they're not getting blood flow, uh, often have no pulse, and death can occur within minutes if the person does not receive treatment. Um, cardiac arrest, actually, according to uh, the American Heart Association, can be reversed if CPR is performed and we use a defibrillator uh, or uh, a, an automated external defibrillator, AED, which shocks the heart and restores a normal rhythm. Um, the idea here, guys, is understand that a heart attack and cardiac arrest are different things, um, but understand that regardless of what is happening, people need care right away. You need to know how to do CPR. You need to learn how to use an AED. Those are um, automated external defibrillators that tend to be available in lots of different places from shopping malls to medical facilities to sports stadiums to uh, you name it, okay? Uh, air uh, airports, etc. Guys, this is very important. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know your comments, your questions. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates and go to drjencottle.com for my uh, daily health newsletter and other offerings. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.